Hey, what's up, guys? It's everyone school BTW here today with another video. Sorry about the delay. Um, I was just <laughs> I forgot about it. So I'm gonna be making it up. I'm gonna be reading from when I last read to today. So that's three days I've missed. Missed. So I'll be reading from page 50 to 60, 60 to 70, 70 to 80. Not all in this video, but in separate videos. So today I'm reading from page 50 to 60. Let me know if you like it. And this is part five, I think this is, of the series dedicated to Amina. Here we go. Plus, the reason our ancestors invented technology in the first place was so they didn't have to interact with one another. Mum sent me and Rowley down to the basement and the two of us tried to figure out what to do. I asked Rowley to bring some DVDs with him so we could stay up late watching movies. But he only brought home movies and you couldn't pay me to watch those. But Mum brought, Mom, Mom brought us down some wacky sentences books where you fill in the blanks to create funny phrases. For the first round, Rowley came up with the words and I wrote them down in the blanks. The phrases we made were actually pretty funny, but what wasn't funny was Rowley's new habit of saying lol instead of laughing. It was really driving me crazy, so we switched roles and I came up with the words instead. Rowley started by asking me a name for a sport, so I said volleyball, but he told me it's volleyball with a B. So then we got into this huge argument whether what letter volleyball starts with. I found a dictionary and handed it to Rowley and told him to look him up it's himself, but instead of flipping the letter to B, Rowley read every single word in the B section. And when he couldn't find volleyball, he started all over from the beginning. Rowley accused me of having an outdated dictionary, then said that's why volleyball wasn't in it. So then we got into an argument about what year volleyball was invented. By this point, Rowley was really getting on my nerves and I realised we'd better start changing gears or we're going to end up in a fight as usual. I told Rowley maybe we should do something different. But the problem with playing hide and seek with Rowley is he thinks that when he can't see you, you can't see him. So that makes him really easy to find. I decided we just need a break from each other, so I came up with an idea. I told Riley we were going to see who's braver, me or him, and we stepped out the sliding glass door. Each of us had to walk into the woods and write our name on a tree fort we built last summer. And whoever chickened out was wrong about volleyball and had to call the other guy Sir for the rest of his life. Rowley seemed to think that was a fair deal. I told Rowley to go fast. I walked into the woods, but as soon as I knew he couldn't see me, I ran around to, to the front of my house. There was no way I was going to go into those woods by myself at night. I had written my name on the tree fort when me and Rowley had built it over the summer, and that's the reason I came up with the dare. I walked in the front door, made a bowl of ice cream, and relaxed for a while. And I have to say, some time to myself was just what I needed. Once I'd finished my ice cream, I walked round the side of the house, rubbed some dirt on my face and clothes, then came out running out of the woods. I probably shouldn't have added the last part, because Riley totally gave up on the day after that. Anyway, that break was just what the doctor ordered, and the rest of the night was argument-free. This morning, my family headed to church. Riley came with us. I don't think Rowley's family really goes to church that much, so he's not used to all the rules about what you're supposed to do and when. So I always have to tell him when you need to kneel and stand and all that. Towards the end, we all did the peace be with you part, where I was supposed to shake everyone's hand. I said peace be with you to Rowley, but he started giggling. I think he must have thought I said peas be with you, like the vegetable. I don't think Rowley understood that you're supposed to shake hands with people either, because when the woman in the pew behind us said, peace be with you, Rowley gave her a big wet kiss on the cheek. After church, we dropped Rowley off at his house, and I was glad he was gone and that I could go back to playing my game. And something tells me Mum felt the same way. Peace be with you. Hee hee hee. Tuesday, I was playing net kritzes in my room, and Mum walked in. She watched for a while, then asked what, what I was doing in the game. I explained that I was watching my chihuahua watch TV. Because if you watch your virtual pet watches at least two hours of commercials a day, it makes them happy and you get 20 bonus tokens. Thank you so much for listening for today's video. Um, I will be uploading more today or tomorrow. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know some more con content ideas below. Have a nice day, guys. Bye.